Should you put LifePo 4 batteries in series? Why would you do it? Will you ruin them? Is it a bad idea? Are you going to burn your house down? That's what I want to talk about today. First of all, let's talk about series, why you would do it, and what advantage you have in doing it. So what is series versus, say, parallel? Well, in parallel, if you have multiple batteries and you're just trying to increase the amount of amp hours capacity that you have in a battery bank, you would connect your batteries in parallel. What that means is you would connect your positives to the positives and the negatives to the negatives on each battery, and that gives you what's known as a parallel string. You can then draw off of that parallel string, and it gives you more power to draw from. So for example, I've got in front of me a couple of Cyclone Bat Mini 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour Life Po 4 batteries. This one here that I've had for some time, is one that I use to run my trolling motor in my canoe. It's really nice, it's very small, tons and tons of capacity, I can run it forever. But what if you're trying to run a cabin or maybe you're trying to extend the running life of a power station? Can you put those batteries in parallel? And the answer is absolutely yes. If you had, for example, four of these mini cycling bat batteries, you could put all four in parallel and have 400 amp hours of capacity instead of 100. However, what if that power station actually needs a higher voltage in order to draw enough wattage off of that battery string in order to power something. Maybe you've got a power station and it can take 800 watts of solar and you're going to plug these batteries into the solar port to extend the life of the power station. If you were to put four of them in parallel, you might be at the very, very bottom end of voltage that the solar input can take on that power station. And you may only draw 120 to 130 watts off of those batteries at any given time. And if you need to draw more, well, parallel is not the answer for you. But what about just taking the batteries and putting them in series? So for example, I've got two batteries here and I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to set them up to show you what series looks like and then I'll tell you what it can do. So first let's pull this one out. This is a brand new battery. Now I'm going to tell you, you can win this battery from this video, get a free one from Cycling Bat. So keep watching the video to find out how you can win this battery. And folks, I've used the one here in front of me for over a year now and it's run really, really well. So. Let's get this one out. It only weighs 20 some odd pounds, I think. They're not very heavy. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to hook these up. But while I do that, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what you need to take into consideration in order to do this. The first thing you wanna do, charge up both batteries 100%. Now, you can't really take the voltage of the battery to determine if it's 100% because your voltages can vary a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to have a LifePo 4 charger like I've got here. And those have lights on them or displays on them that will tell you when the battery is fully charged. And that is very important. You want these batteries at 100% fully charged before you connect them in series. Now a good battery charger will have protection against cross polarity, i.e. you hook up the negatives to the positives. You don't want to do that, but it should have good protection built into it. And the battery's BMS should too, and that's going to come into play. All right, let's throw that on. And we are now charging. I'm going to move that off the bench here because it's a little bit loud and we don't want to have that running while we're doing this. So the first thing is you want to charge this 100% before trying to put these in series. And you wanna do that with a LifePo 4 battery charger. So to hook this up in a series configuration, you're not gonna connect both ends of this cable marked red to the positive terminals, because that would parallel the batteries. Instead, you would go from the negative on one battery to the positive on the other battery. That essentially takes these two batteries and makes them one 24 volt battery. If I had two more and I put those in this as well, I'd get 51.2 volts. Now that we know why you would do that, because you want to increase the voltage of your battery bank, the real question that I need to answer is, is that a good or bad idea? And I will tell you this, I see online all the time, people are told, don't put your batteries in series. And, and I have to tell you, I think many years ago when LifePo 4 batteries or maybe just lithium ion batteries came out and they did not have battery management systems, then the people that say that are mostly correct. Yes, you can do it, 
But there's things you have to do to protect your batteries if you do that. And what you have to do is you have to add a battery management system. But with modern LifePo 4 batteries of any reasonable quality, they already have built-in battery management systems. And there's something that the manufacturer will tell you. They are going to tell you exactly how to connect your batteries in either series or parallel configuration. It's not that complicated, but the fact that the battery manufacturer says you can do this should be the first indicator that yes, in fact, you can do this. That battery management system protects the batteries from certain conditions. For example, overcharging. Now, why am I showing you this battery and how can you win this battery? Obviously, I've got this one over here on the left, and I've had it for over a year, and it works great. Why did I need another one? Well, frankly, I didn't need another one, but I wanted to give one to you. But there's another reason why I went ahead and got this battery to take a look at, and that is that it has built-in Bluetooth where the old one doesn't. Now, I've said in past videos I'm not always a fan of Bluetooth apps. However, I have to admit that when I'm out in my canoe and I'm trolling around on a lake somewhere, it's kind of nice to know what kind of reserve I still have in my battery. So with a Bluetooth app, like the one that comes with the Cyclombat batteries, I can look directly at the battery through the BMS and tell exactly how much charge it's got, what state of charge it's in, how much it's draining, or how much it's charging. Okay, we've talked about how to put these batteries in series. We've talked about why you would do that. Now, the question is, will they burn your house down? Will you destroy the batteries? The answer to that, folks, is no and no. The batteries are fine. The manufacturer tells you you can put them in series. They've got battery management systems that provide a great deal of protection for them. And if you put an inline fuse, that's a good idea too. A 100 amp inline fuse between your connections would be a good safety measure. All right, folks, so I told you you could win this battery. Well, actually a new one, a brand new one, straight from Cycle and Bat. So how do you win the battery? Here's how, folks. First, drop a comment down below and tell me why you need or want this battery. That gets you one point for a total of 10 that you can get. Then, if you share the video and tell me where you shared it, either in the comments down below, or you can email me, I'll drop an email link below. And if you include a screenshot, either in email, or if you go to my community page, the viewers section, where you can actually post pictures, post a picture there, I will give you an extra point. You can get a total of 10 points, but for each screenshot of a share that you give me, I will give you an extra point. And each time you get a point, your name goes into the drawing. So if you get 10 full points, well, you'll have your name 10 times in the drawing and I will draw randomly on Saturday morning. So there you go, super easy, won't cost you a dime. It's about a $180 battery, pretty sweet little battery. I like the Bluetooth app with it. That's why I decided to do this video, but I wanted to give away to you guys. Meanwhile, I wanna thank all my members for being here. Thank you very much for that. Keeps me motivated, keeps me going. I really do appreciate it. And I'm gonna drop another video right over here for you guys to check out. Thanks for watching folks, y'all have a great day. The old jar hit out.